Hello and welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. Now on screen you're just going to see what I accidentally got over the last couple days when not recording. And by when I say accidentally, like I knew I wasn't going to get them like on video just because when I was doing this I was on my laptop and I've been at my computer a lot writing reports. So um, I, I just wasn't in the mood to like record that stuff. But yeah, I got <laughs> a few divination levels and I'm currently... If I'll stop two ticking for a second, I'm 95k XP from 99, which once I fill up these jars on my inventory should just about be enough to get me to level 99. I might be one jar off, in which case I'm going to be a little bit annoyed, but I will um, get back to you in a minute. Oh, I've just rolled a bloody Vecna skull, haven't I? What is that about? Mate, I was literally just I was going to do that as well. Um, click on that. I was like, right, I'm going to... Um, record this because I might get something good and I thought no because I always get a diamond and, and I've got a bloody effect this skull. That's the first time I've got one of those actually which is um, interesting but my goodness. Oh, oh that, that that's rough. Okay this jar's about to be full. If I can get my two tick back here we go. Much better. It's literally about to be full. Oh and I've you know I'm two tick perfectly and as soon as people start watching I'm like I just can't do it. There we go. So we are 91k. I'm just going to announce it, although no one in this community seems to care, but about to get 99ty for laughs. That's not how you spell that. Yeah, it is. Friends. Lesson three. Cool. Right. Let's roll. Get all of these in. Um, I forgot that this takes a while. Can you two tick this, by the way? I wonder. No, you can't. Okay, that, that's fair enough, right? I'll be back in a second once these are gone. Here we go. And we do have enough, which is brilliant. And 99 achieved, which is a way off my shoulders at the moment, because, man, that is saving me a lot of time having to just go to cash. Even though I don't mind cash, like, remembering to do it every day is just a bit of a nightmare. But, yeah, that's kind of cool. It also means I can make the best portals with the memory shards, I think. Although, I think... It's more efficient to actually do the sign of the port of fours in terms of the actual charges you get. Although I need to really look into that to understand it. But I'm going to go grab my cape. Here we are. Can you sell me a skill cape? Uh, go on then. We'll have that. And then I'm going to get another one just because I'm that guy. Boom. Brilliant. Use. Use. There we go. Wear that. And what's the thing? It increases the duration of divination springs by 30 seconds. That's pretty decent. And yeah. Um... This reminds me, this was like, I remember getting this cape very early on my main, and it was such a tedious process of just doing with the energies. It was like 50k an hour or something at most, and it was horrible, and I committed like a certain number of hours every day to doing it. It was just brutal, but yeah, um, kind of happy with that. Hi, so I've got a bit to catch you up on. Um, the footage that I recorded didn't save properly, just because um, while I was working, my microphone unplugged, um, and then when I came to record for some reason with the software I use if the microphone unplugs it corrupts all the data from where the microphone has been unplugged from so That happened to be right after I got my divination cape And I've got some things to show you and it's gonna be a little bit disappointing But I got myself 99 archaeology and I'd filmed the whole thing um, Leading up to it getting all the pieces all that stuff um, So a little bit disappointing I know but I, I got 99 archaeology is such a stupid thing but we're gonna roll with it um i also was explaining how i was going for the totem of intimidation pieces in order to skip the kill count at god wars one now there's multiple reasons for wanting to skip god wars one's kill count and if i grab myself the master clue scroll i'll show you exactly what that is now and it's that I need to get myself a Saradamin's Murmur. Now, the really annoying thing about this is I actually have had a Murmur before and it disappeared from my account. The only reason, and th this was literally like four years ago. So the only thing I can really guess is that back in the day when the, the drag to drop, um, like if, if you dragged something out of your inventory, it would just drop it. I'm guessing that happened, and at the time it wasn't worth very much, or it wasn't considered a valuable item, so it didn't give me a pop-up to say, are you sure you want to drop this? That's the only conclusion I can draw. But anyway, I was killing dinosaurs for a while. I killed about 300 in total, not just in one go. I had about 150 kills, but now I'm on um, 
343, so it took me a couple hundred kills to get the Totem of Intimidation base, but now I can combine these to create myself a Totem of Intimidation. Now what that's going to do is, if I put it on the plinth, which is over here, it's going to allow me to not have to get the kill counts at God Wars Dungeons 1, which is just a, a godsend really, because I, even though I know, I know the kill count isn't like a huge deal, you can get it in 5 minutes, it's... For some reason, it's always put me off um, God Wars 1. And it's not like I can't even camp for a whole a whole trip. It's just for some reason, it's always put me off. But, um, yeah, getting this now just means I can skip all that. There's a totem, like, plinth or whatever it's called over this way on the map. I'm just going to open up the map to have a look. Uh, yeah, just where these luminous snagglers are, I think. So we're going to head over there. And yeah, aside from that, my other things that I've achieved, I got myself 97 rune crafting, which you won't have seen. Um, got myself a crystal chin chomper, which means I've got all the chin chompers for the player on farms, which is cool. And that's kind of it at the moment. Uh, been a bit of a long week just with, with all the, the uni work crunching. I know I talk about that a lot, but I'm not going to be talking about it much longer because I've actually finished for the semester and my project broke the day before the hand in all of my collisions in my game broke meaning that when you spawned you fell through the floor and fell continuously and you couldn't attack any uh, enemies and, and so on it was it was a bit of a nightmare but we're all good now and there we are so if i now interact with it i can set it active now i believe that every weekly reset this totem um becomes inactive and you've got to come and redo it and i don't think it's that big of a deal really it's pretty chill um so yeah, once I've done this, my plan is to go to Sarah, get some kills, hopefully get myself a murmur and carry on with the main goal, which was to get the essence of finality, which which was, <laughs> it was so long ago, but yeah, that's the plan. So yeah, I decided to do some AFK Sarah for a little bit, Commander Zilliana, and at the beginning it was... You know, I, I could pretty much stay here for the hour without having to bank. I only took enough resources to stay for 20 minutes so just so I could bank all of the other things I picked up and so on um, but in terms of food it was pretty chill just staying there AFK for a lot of it um, I had alt one on with the HP alerts and the prayer alerts just in case you know I ended up getting close to death but yeah I managed to get a couple of Sarah War Priest pieces and a God Sword Shard 3 and then I got a second God Sword Shard 3 and an Ancient Effigy I got quite excited because I thought oh I must have got something now both of the God Sword Shard the God Sword Shard, there we go. Both of those drops were actually from Zilliana herself, so they're pretty rare from her, I think. But yeah, got myself pretty much full Sarah War Priest as well. I kept thinking every time I, I got a beam, I would just start recording. I was like, yeah, this is it, we've got something finally. Um, kind of just wasn't the case for a while. I ended up going in total for three one hour trips to Zilliana to try and get drops, which was actually pretty fun. I quite enjoyed it. It was you know, pretty chill. I, Zillian is one of those I didn't really do much of because I didn't really have any, any friends to go with and at the time when everyone was at God Wars I was a, a hardcore and I just didn't want to risk it so I just didn't go, I was way too scared but yeah, it's, it was pretty enjoyable to go. I, I managed to use my effigy up and got myself some decent um, agility experience which just helps because as I've said many times before agility is the one I don't really like and there's another War Priest piece which was it's just what it is isn't it i wasn't too bothered i was quite happy because i managed to get all of the pieces which means i can put them in my player owned house now and then finally i managed to get my saradamins hiss which isn't quite what i wanted so i was a little bit disappointed but i was kind of happy for a drop because this was about two and a half hours into my trips and i hadn't actually seen any drops at the moment and then about half an hour later probably towards the end of this trip i managed to get myself the with the murmur which is what i wanted in the first place which i needed for the master clue um which was really cool actually. I decided that I just, because the trip was coming to an end anyway, I figured I'd stay for the rest of it. Although nothing particularly interesting happened after that. And yeah, got the whole trip done. I got another God Sword Shard 3, so I got three of those in three hours, which is pretty mental. Um, and then, yeah, pretty happy with that. It took a lot, it's, it's quite weird because I thought I was going to be there for about 10 hours, um, judging by the rare drops of all the other things I got, but you know, I was getting probably about 50 to 55 kills an hour AFK, which is pretty decent, I think, to say I wasn't really trying. Um, and that 106 invention came, that was literally um, gained just from doing Zilliana. I went with my staff at level 1 and managed to do that, so that was kind of cool. 
So yeah, after I got that, I decided to just crack on, get these clues done. I wanted to get all the masters done today, just so I've got the casket saved and I can get those fortunate components when I decide to open them all. I'm saving my caskets so that hopefully I can open all of my easy, medium, hard elites and masters in the same video. Although I appreciate this is a particularly big task if averagely elites are going to take about 15 minutes to go. Masters probably 15 to 20 minutes and then hards probably about 10 minutes or so. So like... It's, it's quite a big task ahead, even though it doesn't seem like much. So I was just kind of rolling with it. But yeah, I find it really odd that most of my master clues from here on out were based in Prif. This entire clue scroll was was based in Elf City, which was just wild. Um, <laughs> like this, I, I opened up this and then it's, it's literally just around the corner of the place I need to dig. Um, the whole thing was just based in Elf City for this clue. I found it really... It was very satisfying, actually. Like, not having to travel around and stuff. And then I got my puzzle casket. It was the first puzzle casket I've got. And I was like, well, do I do I click on this and I can just get myself a normal casket from it? Or will it just give me the reward straight away? So I was a bit here and there with it. But it turns out if you've got a puzzle casket and you open it, it will just give you the... Um, the, the the normal reward casket afterwards. It won't open it for you, which was kind of my concern. Um, yeah. Actually, I, I was thinking about this, and I really enjoy doing Master Clues, because the puzzles are actually quite satisfying. I know I've got Alt 1 open there, but I wasn't really using it for many of these um, clues, just because I actually enjoy doing these these like little puzzles and, and figuring them out. I think this one's probably the worst one it takes some doing, but it's very satisfying when you finally get there. I find the Tower one quite easy as well now. I didn't like it at first, but because I, I didn't understand it, but it's actually pretty chill, which is... Uh, and this here is my final reward casket for the masters that's all of them done i believe i've got 13 of them in total and i'm gonna crack on with those elites so at this point i've got about 10 of my elite clue scrolls done and i've got another 20 to go um but i decided just because of all the issues i had with the video at the beginning where the recordings got disappeared and whatnot and then um, the, the delay in getting a video up, I figured it's going to take me probably about another 10 hours to get all of these clue scrolls done, pessimistically, like, I could probably get them done in about 6 or so, but, you know, it just depends on whether I need to get items or not, since there are still a few items I need for clue scrolls, um, I just didn't want to risk it, you know, leaving it any longer, so I've decided that I'm going to end the video short here, and in the meantime, what I'm going to be doing for next video is getting all of my caskets ready, so that we can spend the whole video just opening them, see what we get, see if we get anything cool, and of course, we'll get those 50 fortunate components, and we'll be able to get our essence of finality, so... Yeah, that's kind of everything for today. Again, apologies for the issues with the video. I've no idea what happened, but you know, it's it's just kind of that teething progress. That I'll 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 get through that. Sort of, you know, coming back to YouTube, you, you find all these issues that you, you used to understand and now they've just changed. But yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new and you want to see more, and I will catch you guys in the next one.